Hello everyone, welcome to a new video on my channel and today we're going to make yet another video about how to make lots of cash in X4 pretty much at the early game. I'm going to do another tutorial on this because the last tutorial was filled with all kinds of people who could not understand concept of mods being optional and the usage of mods to showcase a vanilla feature in the game so as you can see all the mods are turned off for this one okay only the cradle of humanity split vendetta and tides of avarice are on these are vanilla dlcs now i'm going to showcase straight out on the screen to wit uh, to what type of person does this tutorial speak to which type of people are going to need this tutorial now I'm going to showcase all of the people who this tutorial is not going to do much good So as you can see on screen, if you're the type of person who likes to bash your head against the wall for no apparent reason, despite the fact that there are easier ways to go about to the other room. If you're like, no, I don't want to go through the door and come out from the other side. No, I'm going to bash my head against the wall to get to the other room. Then this tutorial is exactly what you need. This is straight for you. Or if like I said before, unable to understand the concept of mods and you simp or you simply don't know that crystal mining is very much a thing in X4 Foundations, then again, this tutorial is for you. And this tutorial, unlike the last one, is going to go exactly like the other 1000 videos or such of other people how to make money in X4 it's going to be exactly the same if you think this is not for you and you're going to quit now go for it I don't need your view time I'm doing content so that people who need it will have access to it so if someone like me who doesn't like to get into a game that has a lot of chores that likes to think of a easier way to get to things in the game if you're like me this tutorial is not for you go and see my other tutorial but again if you're like a type of person who wants the hard life who is fearful of mods and thinks that somehow they ruin the game this tutorial is exactly for you okay so I'm going to start with the young gun uh, the young gun scenario which should start somewhere right now I believe please hopefully maybe yeah there Okay, so now it's loading. I will see you once we are in the game. Okay, so I was mistaken and I uh, selected the flight school instead of selecting, you know, the Val Selton start. So there we are. We're still with our ship. Same as before. Same start going to jump in and I'm going to do exactly what I did last time I'm going to undock Argon equipment dock gotta say this place feels mighty lonely without mods but hey at least it's vanilla, right? Wow. 
By the way, it's a nice looking ship. I can tell you that. Well, oh, don't need it. Don't need it. Here, there's an asteroid field right over here. We're gonna go for it. I think I see something here. Nope. Yeah, I thought so. So as you can see without vanilla uh, with with vanilla content alone crystal mining can uh, it can take quite a while, so I'll see you up oh, there. Saw it. There it is. Even without mods, even without mods, it took me exactly three minutes to find this. Three minutes without mods. Just gonna keep my eye on any glint. Oh, forgot something over there. Asteroid. Maybe not. It's so small that the game counted it as something that might fit my uh, my cargo bay. But it's just the rock, so it's the rock is cooking. There, found another one. There it is. Asteroid. I'm gonna grab on those bandanite crystals. Grab them all. Stay clear of the asteroid. Up. Oh, sorry. Now let's see. Again, I'm playing like 10 minutes and I already gathered 187 credits. If I keep at it, I'm going to have enough money to buy a new ship from the get-go. Now let's say I'm going to go back to my Argon ship, yeah, Argon equipment dock. No. Stop guidance. Sometimes you gotta be manual with this autopilot. Who, by the way, went through a lot of updates 
since the game came out. Most of these updates, by the way, were in the, well, in the area of making the autopilot be able to navigate an asteroid field and Okay, so autopilot engaged. Yeah, we're close enough. Disengaged. Bro, stop it. Stop it. Oh, okay, so I had to go out of the travel mode and... Equipment dock. Out of docking range. Okay. Docking granted. Where? Oh, it's over there. Dock, and we're right where I want us to be because yeah. because what we're looking at or what we're looking for I'm going to get up Welcome. the crystals that I have just uh, I don't know if to say if taken but the Crystals that I have just harvested, harvested cannot be sold directly to the station. However, they can be sold at a trader's corner which is located inside the hangar of almost every other... Uh, every sh station that you can think of. There's supposed to be somebody here, but is not here. So we'll just go to the elevator and we're going to go to the trader's corner this was the oh the ship maintenance okay well we have no use for ship maintenance we want the trader so um well that's great there's supposed to be a trader around here mm. Yeah, that's just fantastic. Maybe if I change locations then Wow, literally nobody is here. <laughs> and this is the vanilla game. Yep, nobody is here. Well, I don't know what is wrong with the game right now, but what you're supposed to do is have a trader right here. If you saw my other tutorial, skip a few minutes ahead because it's not a long one. It's 11 minutes I believe you'll skip ahead and you will see there's a trader I talked to the trader 
and then below you will see that I have uh, the ability to sell credits or crystals to that trader and that's how you get money in the game sorry that the trader is not here for some reason I don't know why NPCs do not appear at this station I can try and go to other stations but I already did whatever I'm doing in this tutorial I already did it in my other tutorial so you can see it over there and you will understand what I mean so anyways this is the tutorial on how to make a lot of money in X4 as exactly the same as the last tutorial yet for some reason I had to do it to calm down the knuckleheads who are afraid of mods and who don't either understand them or don't understand the concept of free choice so this tutorial was made for you enjoy it so anyways this is the end for this video and I will see you in the next one hopefully if you mind Goodbye.